Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Programming by Lucky Sir YouTube channel. So I hope you are enjoying my videos. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click on bell icon to receive latest technology videos. So in this video, I am going to share one of the frequently asked Java coding entry question that is how to reverse a string without using inbuilt functions or loops in Java so guys this is most frequently asked entry question for Java developers or Selenium testers because they want to check your programming skills without using inbuilt methods how you can write the logic so they want to check out your programming skills so for that I am going to use I, uh, this is my approach, uh, this is the easiest approach I am writing here because everyone can understand without using any loop and uh, um, inbuilt methods. I am going to solve this problem. So, so I am using a recursion mechanism. So, recursion means uh, it is a programming technique uh, which a method calls itself recursively. So, I am going to writing the easiest approach uh, that is. Printing each character in reverse order. Whatever the, the string we are giving, I am taking the each character in reverse order. So by using recursion. So to do that, first we need to open Eclipse IDE and then click on package. Right click on the package. Click on new. And click on class. We are giving name as user defined name. Reverse string demo okay next click on public static admin and finish button so here is the program structure so you need to write the code here uh, first I am taking scanner class I am going to creating the object for scanner class scanner is equal to new scanner System dot yes. Okay, so what the meaning of scanner class here? The scanner class is a predefined class that is used to read input from the keyboard. Okay, observe here. I just placed a mouse on the scanner class. It's showing some import scanner. Where it is available? In which package? The scanner class is available in Java util package. It comes under the util package. Okay. So that what the main purpose of scanner class? It is used to read the input or to read the values from the keyboard. We just click on the import scanner. Okay. Now this so enter a string. Okay. Next. What to do next? Next line is. So to read the entire line, we are going to use string str equals sc dot next line without skipping without skipping of the string of the object. We use next line. Okay, why you are using next line method? This is used to return without skipping any string. Okay. The next is to find the ah uh, yeah the next line is we need to convert the string into char array to do that we are using char array so we are going to convert the string into char array to convert the string into char array we are going to use two char array method so what the this line meaning the statement meaning convert string into Character, character, sorry, character array. Okay. Next, is the find the length of the string. To find length of the string, int length equals ch dot length. To find the length of the string, what we are using? Length method. Now write the reverse 
another river stream passing the two parameters ch and the land okay now in the class i'm writing on method that is recursive method public static public static wide reverse string reverse string we are passing char array and the int length okay next in this recursive method i'm checking the length if length greater than 0 okay see so ch of length minus 1 okay so uh, let me uh, i will explain after writing the enter code okay next length minus minus okay now recursive format this is the recursive recursive calling method okay A reverse string ch and the length okay so this is the entire program okay so what we are doing here the flow of the uh, execution so first uh, the java compiler will take the will look out the main method because every java program execution starting from main method so after executing this line scanner class the object of the scanner class will be created why we are using scanner class means it is a predefined class it is available in java util package it is used to read input data from the from the keyboard to read the values from the keyboard we are using scanner class and then we are entering the stream suppose if you enter the string like this i am taking the string as lucky okay and then after entering the string why you are using next line method next line method here if you enter a long line length of line then without skipping the words in the string each and every character will read this method each and every word or character read by using this method whatever uh, line is available okay but i have taken here simple string only that is lucky only so if you are using a very lengthy method suppose hi how are you you must be give space no, between words hi how are you so without skipping any words entire uh, line will be read by the this line method next line method okay i, I hope you got it okay next uh, next line is this statement meaning whatever the string is available in the str enter string now what is available i have given suppose i have given here lucky so the key will be stored in str okay now the string will be uh, convert into character array to convert the string into character array we are using two char array method okay the entire string will convert into characters so that will store in ch okay next we are finding the length of the character finding length of the string so to find length of the string we are using length method okay using length method next i am taking one uh, reverse string okay next uh, we are passing we are calling this method up to here okay we are passing here local variables character and length so we are copying these values whatever available here in ch in ch what is available the entire string entire string into character is and length length means uh, suppose here taking i am lucky length is 5 and uh, entire characters are divided into like this so this will call to this string okay now it's storing these local variables ch is having a lucky and length having 5 okay next condition going to taking so length is how much 
lucky means one two three four five okay five greater than zero okay condition is true again it comes to in the body of the if condition system dot out of print length state of length minus one length means here length how much internally five five minus one that means ch of four here ch of four ch of four what it will be stored here check it out ch of four means y internally it's storing in the memory in the place of ch of array we are storing y so first it will, it will print the y first character will be print y and then comes to here length minus minus so length minus minus means 5 is decreased by 1 that means 4 again this uh, recursive method will call here again comes to here 4 greater than 0 and again ch of 4 minus 1 ch of 3 means which one ch of 3 in array means which what what value stored in that place memory k y k okay so again it will call like that in this process until the condition becomes false it will return the entire entire string so here reversing reverse string is a recursive function or method it automatically calls this method okay in the meanwhile our desired output also will come okay so let's check it out whether our desired output will come or not so to execute our program java program there are two ways i already explained before in the earlier videos one is click on run method uh, run button or right click on the java program run as java application Now it asking a enter a string. What string I am expecting? So I, I told you lucky. Enter a key. See the output here. First, first character is y. What I have explained uh, in before five minutes, uh, two minutes before. First string is y. Next k t u l. So the reverse string, the reverse of the string. What exactly? I, given input from keyboard so to give input from keyboard or to read this lucky to read this string as lucky what class we are using scanner class to read values okay so to enter a string so i will giving you system dot out and print error. okay so this is the way to reverse a string without using any loop or inbuilt functions or methods in Java. So I hope you got it, guys. So, so if you like our videos, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.